What's going on, guys? Fully from Custom Offsets. Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. With Junior. Woo! And we're bringing you another episode of From the Gallery, where we take your trucks that you have added to the gallery at customoffsets.com forward slash add, put them in the gallery, we check them out, verify the specs, and we bring them to you all on of the big them? screen. Well, all not all of them. Not of them? If it's actually like 56. Holy! Now. There's a lot of them in here. We're picking five. We didn't pick five. Taylor picked five day, for us. And then, uh, so I've never seen any of these. You've never seen any of these. So well, maybe we've seen them. You don't know that. I have a good feeling that we haven't seen these. So we're gonna open them up, take a look at them, and then rate them on a scale of one to 10. One being, <clears throat> and 10 being, woohoo! Every week I try to do a new thing, and I just, I'm running out of ideas, really. All right, first one. This is an 09 Ram 1500 on RBP 73Rs, 24 by 14, negative 76 offset. He's got the 35 by 15 and a half Furies. Oh, wow. wow. Love those tires just because they're really wide. Rough yep. Country suspension lift, eight and a half inch lift, which I didn't know they made for uh, Ram. Let's check out the details. That's what I thought. Six ah, inch Rough Country this. with two and a half inch Bill Stein lift struts. Did so you say that'll Bill Stein? Bill Stein? Bill Stein? I mean, he did spell it Bill Stein, so I can see. Reading, doing it. Stuff. Uh, he's got two inch wheel spacers, front and rear. Rubs like crazy, but who cares? Pay match front emblem, mirrors, bed rails, tons of that stuff. He's got horns, rock lights. He's got Airlift in coil airbag set approximately seven to seven and a half inches. This yeah, guy really, parties. I like it. I dig it. Really good photos too. And yeah. there's a lot of them, which yeah. is awesome. This I love, is to, see, love to see. Like this is a really good gallery ad. I like if I'm looking for my RAM, I'm gonna know. I yep, want that one. This is gonna be sick. And of course the locally hated sticker. Well you gotta have it. Oh Mach 1 Media. Excellent photographers. I follow you guys on Instagram. Alright. Have you seen enough to give it a number? I have. Um go back to the accessories quick. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, nine. nine. Whoa. Tied up. All right, so I probably would give it a 10. I'm being biased though and only saying nine because it's a Ram and I have something against Rams. That's really my only reason. Wow, I, you suck. I actually think, so and a lot of times I don't like the halos in the headlights. I think they look like gaudy, but on the Rams, when you do this shape here of the headlight, it actually looks pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, I like the cubes. I like all the paint match. I actually love the two-tone color thing. Some yeah, that's are the one thing it. I was iffy about. I know really? a lot of guys are going back to that because it, it makes it pop a little bit more versus just an all. I just think it's like a luxury color. look, but I would I would probably take the chrome bumpers then and paint them this like sure. tan color. Yep, and the grill. I could see that matching it either red or tan, make mm -hmm. it all match, but. Look at this dude's paint. Like that's just, look at the reflection in yeah. red. Like this guy, he's got a sharp looking truck. Yeah, I dig it. So it's you said nine. Setup. Also, I like the lift height. I like the wheel and tire setup. I feel like he could have ran 37s. Maybe. Maybe he just didn't want to cut the f out of his like newer truck. Yeah, he doesn't have any trimming on it. It says rubs so. like crazy, but who cares? So, I don't know. Maybe it does rub like crazy. I feel like it looks like it could run 37s, but it doesn't look bad how it is. I dig it. Overall, just a super clean truck. Probably the highest rating I've ever given a Ram, honestly. I'd probably say the same. All right, next one. 2011 Ford F-150. He's got the Archon Lincolns. <laughs> 22 by 12 negative 51s and RBP repulsor tires 33 by 12 and a half on a leveling kit. 12 wides on a leveling kit on 11 F-150. It's pretty aggressive. Silver looks like. Yeah, it's a leveling kit in the front. Is it a rear block delete? Maybe. Let's see if he's got the details. Nah, it doesn't have it in the details, but it does look a little bit squatted in the rear. It's got aftermarket headlights. Mirrors are color match, but looks factory. Factory chrome bumpers. Not really anything else. Uh, no window tint even. Okay. Got it? Yep. Okay. Two, one, six. one. You give it a one? So I actually have two ratings for it. The first is a one because his wheels are backwards. <laughs> oh, he's so mad. That makes me so angry. I can't even deal with it. They're literally at all least, digging. At least they're backwards on the on they're, both sides. Right. He's got them all running the same way, but like they're literally labeled left and right. And like I like them swooping. I don't like them digging. And that's Listen, just me. Listen, Casey. Casey. 1365. Take your wheels. Put them on the other side. Left side to right, right side to left. It'll make Jared so much happier. And then I would rate it an eight. Oh, an eight. It's kind of higher than I thought. As a like a daily truck, this would be like perfect. I think it needs window tint and maybe a little bit of paint to match, but yeah. like it's a good setup for just a simple like daily. It reminds me of Justin's uh, F-150 he had. Yeah, it's a lot just like his. Leveling kit, 10 wides. This is 12 wide, so it's like even better. Yeah, but his are 10. So. Yeah, and I, I don't know. It just, I gave it a six because it just doesn't do it for me. Like I'm not super excited about. Do you not like the I've body seen. style or? No, when this when this body style first came out, I thought it was a huge improvement over the previous generation. Absolutely. But now seeing the 14 to 18 and the 18 and up, yeah. this <laughs> just looks really dated to me. And like, I can't score it based on the body style of the truck, but like as 
as a build, if you want to call mm -hmm. it a build, which I'm not saying that, I'm just saying other people might not, they're going to get angry if I call it a build. Um, like I would have liked to see more. It's just too stock for me. That's Maybe all he I just started. About, Maybe he did. What if he is, is a 14 year old kid who got his first truck Listen. and he just got I'll tell you his what, first paycheck. This F-150 looks way better than my F-150. There you go. I'll give him that. Same. <laughs> Here we go, something a little different. This is this is actually kind what of an interesting hell? setup. So this is a 03 Silverado 1500 regular cab, which we like never see. And he's got 15 by 10s, but they are negative 44. So a lot of times when you get down to these off-road sizes, like the 15s and 16s, it might only be a 10 wide or even an eight wide, but they'll still give you crazy negative offset. Like when I bought wheels for that crappy Ranger I had, I could get eight wide negative 39s, which like usually to get eight any- Eight wide negative 39s? Yeah, usually anytime you get upwards of like negative 40 offset, you're looking at 12 wides. Yep. So this is kind of mean looking. It's like almost race truck, almost off road. Yeah, it's like a mix of both. So he's got a lot of color match going on. Uh, I'm gonna say almost too much. Like it looks like white, a, like everything is just white in the front. White grill, white emblem, white uh, crossbar, white mirrors, white, white mirrors. Rear bumpers. Everything's white, yeah. White rear bumper. He's Even a firefighter. Though, like, the plastic thing across the top of the tailgate, that's that all sounds... white too. Yeah, and it's the newer like um, what are they, 15 and up? The, like the high country mirrors with the LEDs in them, uh, something or like style, that. something like that. Oh, he's got two inch wheel spacers. That's why it looks so wide. Jeez. It does have some crazy stance. I don't know how it fits. He says slight rubber pulls on with no trimming, but I, I think that's a lie. It, I think it rubs a little bit more than that. All right, you got a number? Yeah. Wait. I just want to point out that this wheel and tire package is only 1300 bucks shipped to your door. Holy cow. All right. All right, that'll change my number a little bit. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. All right. Three, two, one, six. Six and a half. Mm-hmm. Pretty similar. So six because, wow, that's a really cheap price because it's stock suspension too. So literally 1300 yeah. bucks. And, uh, and I mean, if, to match. if you wanted to rattle can it for really cheap, you could have a truck that looks very similar to this yeah. for a really low budget. And I, I do kind of like the like crossover street truck slash off-road truck, like sort of the Baja-y looking wheel. Yeah. Well, cause yeah, the, well, the BFGs too are like an off-road Baja style tire. They're yeah. good for like everything. But then it's low and wide, yep. like street truck. If, uh, if he's got a twin turbo or a big single under the hood, that will go up to a 10. <laughs> So how would you rate this one compared to the F-150 we just did? So I gave them both sixes. Yeah. But I guess I like the F-150 more than I like this one. Okay. Take that for what it's worth. Here we go. We got the mom mobile. 07 Chevy Tahoe. I wanted a Tahoe for so long and I don't know why. Fuel Mavericks, uh, 20 by 10, negative 18, and 275, 55 Ridge Grapplers on a Rough Country leveling kit, which if you're Merca. looking, if you're oh, looking to lift though. your uh, Tahoe, a leveling kit is really all you, you want to do. When you start getting, because they're coil sprung rears, you do like a six inch lift and you start going like this on the highway. Well, it's basically a giant billboard too. There's not like. Yep. Yeah. Another good one with lots of good pictures. Yep. Nice front angle, nice side, got the other side, another angle, another three quarter angle from the other side, back three quarter. And how long do these two pictures take? Probably 10 minutes to shoot yeah. and then another 10 to edit. So like they just did this, they just did this in their driveway and it looks good. So it does like, look really good. just take a little bit of time, do some cool photos. We'll put you on our channel. So it's like I do. Interesting color, not something that I would buy. Like not that I would look at, but I think it works really well on this. Yep, and I, I like the flag that he's got going on there. Got the custom offsets decal up the windshield. Gotta have it. Aftermarket headlights looks like probably Anzo. Anzo. Yeah, that's my guess. So oh, spider, sorry. Spider U bar. Still got pretty sweet. Hands. Um, all right, got a rating. <clears throat> yeah. Three, two, one, eight Seven. and a half. Eight and a half, that's pretty high. I like Tahoe's, I really do like Tahoe's. Like this, this to me is a great everyday driver. It's very true. Like you can haul the boat to the lake with this. You can haul your kids around if you're like a family man. I'm not. Which you're not. I hate kids. <laughs> your dog's around. I'll bring my dog, yeah, <laughs> it'll be a good time. But you know, you gotta pick stuff up and you, you don't want it you know, sitting in the back of your truck or something like that. It. I don't know, I like it. I think SUVs are an untapped market and people should do more with them. That's why you buy Broncos and lift them. Oh, really? Are you going to do that? Maybe. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Um, six, seven, 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 six. Max, what did I say? Do you remember? Are you even paying attention, man? All up. I think it was a seven. Can't remember. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, your dad's Yukon or Tahoe, whatever he yeah, is. Yeah, just newer. Yeah. It's like similar color too. I mean, like that's like what you said for like 
a Tahoe or a Suburban, like leveling kit, 10 wides and 33s. And like, it looks good, it's functional, and you're set. You do a little bit of trimming and- Yeah, no these problem. 275 55s equate out to about a 32 by 11. So like, not super aggressive, but you get in there without having to do too much trimming. And it doesn't look weird in the wheel wells. No, know? like it looks very proportionate. I dig it, yeah. I think it's cool. Here we go, this is really clean. Okay. 2006 F250. Uh, is on American Forces, 24 by 14, negative 73 offset, and the Amp Mud Terrain Attack MTs, 37 by 13 and a half, riding on a six inch zone. Power Stroke Pat. It's got a light bar in the bumper. Did you just give him a nickname? No, it says Power Stroke Pat. Oh, I saw Patrick Tom Thompson, and I was like, yeah. you literally just nicknamed him. No, I didn't. Oh, it looks like the color that you want to powder coat your suspension. Yep. Hey, you can't tell people that yet. Sorry, foreshadowing. So a couple pictures here, so we can kind of get the gist of it. Would have been nice to have a couple more. I'd say four is like the minimum. If you have four photos, you're good. But if you have yep. more than four in the gallery, like he's got train you horns. Want that shit showing he's got off. train horns. So that's some of the details. Of course he does. I feel like every power stroke owner has train horns. You have to. You have to. Not that it's a bad Fix thing. It's four. just a thing. All right. Ah, this one's tough for me. Why is it so hard? That's what she said. I feel so bad. You know, I don't want to ever rate someone's truck so low and then them get mad at me. I predict Fuller's gonna read it. <laughs> Shut up. Could you hear that? Yeah, I could. God damn it. Barely. All right, ready? Three, two, one, Nine. eight and a half. I heard you say eight, so I couldn't say eight. <laughs> Were you gonna but write I, it I eight? No, I was gonna do eight and a half anyway. Oh. So the reason why I uh, took off half a point was because He's got the sticker on his tire. He's driving around with it, and I really wish people would take their stickers off tires before they drive, including the people who film trucks here, Cody Lawson. Take the stickers oh. off before you film a vehicle. Take the stickers off the tires on the trucks before you film them. And the tires. <laughs> That's really it. Uh, it's super clean. Awesome. Sorry. Super clean looking, especially for an 06. Like, you wouldn't see an 06 power stroke like this in Wisconsin. No. He's on forces, I dig it. So this one versus the first Ram that we did then, because they're similar. They're both on like chrome wheels or polished wheels, yep. two-tone, mm -hmm. clean builds. Which mm -hmm. you pick between these two? The, if it's my vehicle, yeah, I'm, gonna, the I'm gonna take the power stroke. Yeah? yeah? I think I would take the, the first one we did, the Ram. I just wouldn't have forces because I would never be able to keep them clean. You'd have 18 by 10 methods and No, 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 no. If I wanted a show truck like this, I could still do 24 by 14s. Just not it's in not polished, polished American forces. I actually could probably really use an F-250 in my life. Here we go. <laughs> Sounds good. How do we end this? So that's all we got for you guys. Another episode of From the Gallery. If you want your truck featured on From the Gallery, add it to our gallery, customhouses.com slash add. If you want to get featured, email Max. <laughs> Don't email Max. You Don't can just drop Max. your, your comments uh, below, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're at, drop your comment below with the link to your vehicle in the gallery. If it's not in there, you got to add it like Junior said. Otherwise, if you need to figure out what fits your truck, that's what the gallery is for. So you know, it's customhousesets.com forward slash gallery. Enter your make model and you'll be good to go. That's all I got for you guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube, youtube.com slash TV. Peace.